It has been several days since the start of the new eruption at Kilauea, and the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has just published several videos, showing the dynamic start of the activity at the summit. This footage, recorded by the KW Cam on the northwest rim of the caldera on the early morning of June 7, shows the opening phase of the eruption. Lava bursts from a vent in the central part of the crater floor and floods the surrounding area. According to geologists, these initial fountains reach at least 60 meters or 200 feet high. The observatory also posted these tight views of the lava during the opening hours of the eruption, showing an increase in vigor at vents in the western portion of the crater. In just a few hours, about 10 meters or 33 feet of new lava depth was added to the crater floor. Opening eruption phases are usually the most dynamic, and as a result, the USGS raised the volcano alert level for Kilauea to warning until the activity stabilized. It has since been brought back down to watch. This time-lapse video showing the first three days of the new eruption was also just made public. This sequence, from June 7th to June 9th, shows only what was recorded during daylight hours. The observatory noted that as the eruption stabilized and the vigor declined, the area of active lava on the surface was reduced. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory also uploaded some other interesting isolations. Like this view of the new vent that form on the crater wall, sending a cascade of lava down into the growing lava lake. This vent opened a few hours after the other vents emerged in the central part of the crater. The next day, scientists recorded this look at a series of small fountains in the southern portion of the crater floor. Another new video upload shows a closer look at a wind vortex captured during the first day of the new eruption. Scientists say these are formed by extreme heat. The rapidly swirling air can entrain hot lava, flinting pieces of crust. Eventually, the vortex leaves the lava lake and begins to swirl its way up the wall of the caldera. The observatory team captured this video from a safe distance on the rim of the crater using a telephoto lens. But other cameras, like the unmanned B-1 cam, have been put in danger by the eruption. This video shows a helicopter mission to move the webcam and its solar power system, threatened by intense heat, to an area farther east on the caldera floor. The figures in the foreground offer a sense of scale for the size of the eruption. All lava remains confined to the Kilauea summit area, with no unusual activity noted along the rift zones.